I don't know if this worked, but we're going to see. Let me check this out. Trying something new here. Not really sure. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. Maybe it did. I'm not sure. Is anybody here? Let me see. Hi, oh my goodness, this worked. I'm over here by my computer, sorry. I had no idea that if this would work or not. So, yay, I figured something out. <laughs> How, let me see something. How do I get... I'm using a different system, so I'm not really sure how I get to see comments on here, um, unless I go into YouTube. Let me see here. So, let me just see. I'm gonna bring you guys up on my, let me see over here. Can you guys see me okay? I tried something new tonight, and I don't know how it's working. So I wanted to try this and if it doesn't work, then we'll do the hand, the old, good old um, phone, phone deal. Can you guys see me okay? Oh, I guess you can hear me. I tried something new tonight. Sorry. Yay. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what I did, but I hooked up my camera. I can see myself. So now I can see your guys' comments. Um, I hooked up my camera. So I brought, broke out my camera. And I hooked it up to a different system. It's not StreamYard. StreamYard wasn't working again. So I don't know what's wrong with StreamYard. But it's not working. So I had to try something different. Um, I have a lot of work to do tonight. So my room is a disaster because I have been doing lives with Soy Machines Plus all week for their hoop fest. So sorry about the mess. It is atrocious in here right now. <laughs> so excuse the mess. I have all these like notes and everything laying out everywhere and I can't move it because I still have tomorrow. Well, today's only Tuesday. So I still have Wednesday, Thursday and Friday going on to do it with. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can see you and hear you. Yay. I love how there are night owls just like me. Sarah, I haven't been a night owl in forever because I used to work all night long. Like, you guys know me. I used to work until like 3 o'clock in the morning. But I have been working during the days now, so I've been going to bed at night. But tonight I have to work because it has been a crazy week already, and it's only Tuesday. And I have so many blankets that I need to do and get out and a ton of orders um, because I've been – completely focusing on hoop fest and so um I haven't done any orders and I'm starting to freak out so I told my husband I needed to come out here and I needed to work so tonight's just kind of gonna be like a work with me I wanted to test this camera and the sound and the lighting and everything so let me know how you guys like it and if it's lagging I don't know because earlier my other camera was lagging a lot so this one seems to look good is it super bright to you guys I don't know if I can adjust that Who's on here? Let's see. I honestly like don't even know how I connected that, but it's working. So, so it is nine o'clock here. I remember your Monday lives were late and long, which I loved. I know I am. I think as soon as I get like caught up with myself, I want to start doing night lives again, just every once in a while, because I do come out here at night most sometimes. And, um, I miss you guys, so we'll see. Maybe I can start doing those again. I don't need all these cords everywhere. You guys, I have stuff everywhere, so sorry about the complete mess. Um, you don't even want to know what the back over here looks like. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, okay, I don't even know where to start. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. I need to start with 
blankets. So I'm going to put this over here on the counter so I can do this. Oh, I can actually, I have to do this one. I have it laid out. This one is actually a back-to-back -back faux fur blanket or lovey that I need to do. And I cut it out. So I don't know if you guys can see. How, let me see. Can you guys see if this? Not really. It's super bright. Do you guys want me to try to mess with that lighting? It is very bright, hard looking, looking and sounding good. Okay. Let me do you want me to see if I can try and make it less bright? I think it is just a button on here. Let's see. Menu. Uh, I can't mess with it unless I turn off the streaming. Let me see. I just started watching your videos and they make my days at the office and at home business so much more productive. It makes me motivated. Aw, thank you so much. I know. I tend to go live. Not, I haven't been going live very often, but whenever I do go live, it's for a really long time. So, I am not really an IL anymore. I used to be. I don't really know how to fix the lighting on here, you guys, unless I cancel out of here. I wonder if I can... Let me try to switch cameras because I have two of them up here. Let me see if I can do this really quick. Let's try. Can you, is that one good? I don't know. Does it change it on there? I don't know if it changed it. Did that just change cameras? I'm not really sure. I think it like takes a minute. But maybe if I use, let me see, is it this camera? Let's see if you guys can see my hand. It's lagging, I think. My lights are so bright. So, yeah, that was that camera. Okay, so I'm going to try to mess with this lighting really fast, guys. So I'm so sorry. Um, I'm just trying to get the right lighting on here. I'm going to cancel this really quick on here and then try to fix this really fast. I think it's just... Um, the 4K, 4,000. Let's see, how do I go in here? I have a Sony ZV-1. Does anybody have that? I know it's not lagging. It's just super bright, and I'm sorry. It's like that hurts your eyes after a while. So not really sure how to do this. Let me see here. Oh, there we go. Let's see here. If I add... Is that working? No, that's making it darker. I don't want it dark. Sorry, guys. You know me, I have to mess with this until I get it. <laughs> That's the other camera that you're looking at. Wonder what auto, let's see here. Multi-frame NR, what does that mean? <laughs> I 
I'm so bad at this, you guys. Hey, Marissa. I wish uh, Liz was in here. She could help me on this. All right. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm so sorry if it's super bright, you guys. But I don't know what else to do. How do I get back? Intelligent auto. There we go. Movie. Hi, Cece. I saw you on the live today. I also saw you, Marissa. I know why it's so bright. It's because I'm 4,000K. I just don't know how to fix that. So... I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to go back into menu and I'm going to do US streaming. And okay, let's try to see if I can get back on here. Camera, Sony camera. See if that connects back. You guys can tell me which camera you like better the one that it was on or the brighter one that one which one do you guys like better i think it's fine when i walk away but when i like get up close with it it kind of gets brighter because it's like auto focusing I know I have to make some stuff too. See how it gets so bright? Like when I'm like right here. Okay. Well, anyway, maybe if I stand right here, it'll be better. So I have to do this blanket and I put my new table on my machine. So I'm still like iffy about it. I don't know if I really care for it. Just because. It's different. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. All my stuff is everywhere right now. I'm all out of order. See how bright it is? So bright. I wonder if I turn this off. That's better. I don't know. It takes a minute to recalibrate. <sighs> okay, so I already have my stabilizer on here. I don't know if any of you guys watched the, the live. I know some of you on here did, um, but they did a thing, a segment on all stabilizers, and it was very good. Um, I learned a lot on it, so I'm gonna be taking what I've learned throughout this week as well and incorporating it in with my business and um, maybe be able to help you guys with some things too. So anyway, this is going to be a lovey. This is my lovey template, and all I do when somebody wants a back-to-back -back faux fur one like this, I basically just double it, and then I fold it in half just like this. I then put this on top right here. I pin it all around with my pins. I don't use actual pins. I use clips on this kind of material because it does slip around a lot. So I like to clip it and then I just take the clips off as I sew it. But then I use my um, friction pen and I just trace the lovey out right here. And then right where the line is, that's where I sew it. So I'll just take it straight over to the machine and sew it. This levy they want embroidered though, and I've already made the design. And it's actually, whenever I use um, this material and they want a name embroidered on it, I use the knockdown stitching. So I'm going to do that right now and I can show you guys what it looks like if you guys don't know how to use that feature. You don't do well when you are out of order. I know. I can't 
focus. Like, honestly, that's why I haven't gotten any work done this week because I just have hoops laying around everywhere. I have cameras everywhere. Like, if you guys saw my video that I posted, I put it on the Being a Bliss support and chat group on Facebook. If you guys aren't on that group, head over there and follow it. Um, I'm going to start posting in there more. I've been doing, like, a little bit of videos here and there. But I have... um, I have a schedule. I know I've said that in the past, but I'm going to start sticking with it. I have laid down my law to myself and I'm like, I need to do this, this, and this. And so I'm just really going to start focusing on what's important. And right now with like small businesses and stuff, social media is huge. Even though I hate it, I hate social media. I don't hate it in a bad way. I just, it's so much work. But if you just think of it as you have to do it and it's part of your job, then it shouldn't be that big of an issue. So anyway, I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start posting more. I want to start going live more and doing more videos too. So I'm going to start doing, I want to do at least one video a week. I'm going to start with that because I know putting more pressure on myself just makes it worse. So I'm just going to start with one and then see how that goes. And I have so many things in my head. I have, I haven't even shared anything with you guys because I haven't been on here, but I have so much going on. I have a new printer that I need to set up. I have just like so much that I'm adding that I haven't even been able to like (laughs) think about. So yeah, lots going on. So back to this levy. If you push down on this fur, you can see the outline. So I like to do that so I can see exactly where my lines are. And I need to know where I'm going to make my name. So what I like to do, where's my tape? I don't know where anything's at in here because I moved everything around. Um, dum dum dum. Where did I put that tape? Where did I put that tape? What did I use it for last? See you guys, I'm all, oh here, no, that's not it. I'm all out of sorts. I have so many like things over on the side of the room that I need to get rid of and go through. I guess I'll just use my regular tape because I can't find the other one. I like to use like a, non-sticky like paper tape like painter's tape but oh I know where I put it over here I also want to show you guys this over here but I haven't gotten to it yet um I have a video already recorded on this but I haven't edited it yet so that's going to be my first video out I think so I like to use this scotch tape it's like I used it when I did paper crafting And I really like it because it's like sticky, but not. It's kind of like painter's tape. But this is what I do when I use my faux fur. This is how I know where to line my name up. So I know I put my name at a 45 degree angle. And you can get all technical and like really like line it up. I kind of eyeball it. I can tell that this is even right here. So that's just how I've done it. It's not going to hurt if it's like a teeny tiny bit off, you're never going to be able to tell on this fur because the fur is really, really, really forgiving. Okay. So then what I do is that too bright? It's so bright. Is my audio out? Okay. All right. Well, maybe can somebody just like tell her to maybe click out and then click back in? Sometimes she have to reboot it.
So right now I'm just trying to line up. I know exactly where I want the name. So I'm trying to line it up in the hoop so that I know it's not going to hit the frame. It's a little bit of a different process with the faux fur because I'm going to be doing a uh, knockdown stitch. So it's gonna take up a little bit more room than normal. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this over to the machine. I will angle my camera that way so maybe the lighting will be less bright over there so you guys can see it. And then you guys can actually maybe see my new table and everything. So let's go over here. And then after this, we're going to just start working with a bunch of blankets. So first let me move this camera over here. Let's see, how far can I get? I don't know. Let's see, I'm gonna be moving you guys a second. Go like that. Try not to trip over any cords because I have so many in here. I'm going to try to zoom in for you guys over here. It's still bright over there. So the hard thing about using this camera is it's really good, but it, um, whoops. See, that's just what happened right now. It's going to be disconnected really quick because I just unplugged it. Okay, let's see. We're going to go right over there. So I don't know, we're just messing around tonight. So hopefully that looks okay for you guys. And hopefully it didn't disconnect. Okay, let me know. Okay, so this is the new table that I got on here. And I don't know yet. I will let you guys know soon <laughs> if I like it. So this person wanted, let's see here. Okay, so when you do a um, knockdown stitch, it is two colors. So this person, I just wanna double check, where is her order? Where did I put her order? See you guys, I'm literally all over the place. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it's for Connor, and I needed to check. I'm over here behind you guys. I just needed to check really quick um, that she wanted, I think she said she wanted blue, but I just want to double check. Yes, bright blue. So, um, yeah, we'll just use that blue in there because that's pretty.
And I don't change anything on this, like the way that I do my loveys on with my other minky. I just do it exactly the same with the faux fur. Um, I don't change needle, different needles. I don't change different like kinds of thread or stabilizer or anything like that. I do it all the same. So the hardest part about this is actually getting it in the frame, which it's loosening up now because I've been using it over and over again. But it's still like I have to get, I just have to keep using it, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to see if this machine comes with the tubular support so that maybe I could just use that instead of the table. Plus it's really hard to like maneuver through here. Um, I've noticed that whenever I need to get back here for anything, it's just like in the way. So I don't know if I need to like scoot them down, get rid of this table. I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying everything right now. So it is going to be a struggle. So with the knockdown stitch, they do, it does the background, obviously the knockdown first. So I always try to match it to this um, fabric. So I'm going to do gray and then she wanted bright blue. So then I'll do blue. So I already know it's two, two steps. So it's going to be um, gray and then blue. I'm going to go, okay. It's on automatic already. And now I just got to make sure that the center just want to, and so where I put the tape is where I want the name. It's obviously not super straight because I didn't like do it with a ruler. So I know that when I get it in here and I use my ruler, I can